kind of a bad story. I feel sorry for the guy, to be honest. But, um, yeah, hopefully we can give him some advice. And, yeah, let's see your take about this. And he said, my story is pretty much still ongoing and I'm seeking advice and also giving a warning to other guys that are planning on coming to Thailand or are already here. My story started about a week ago when I first arrived in Bangkok. I'm here with two friends for a two month getaway from our lives and jobs back in Ireland. Things have been going great and we have been doing a lot of partying and meeting new people. It was a 10 out of 10 trip up until now. I've been playing around with the dating apps here hoping to meet a nice Thai lady. Nothing serious, just someone to maybe hang out with and show me around the country a bit more. We started talking and doing a lot of flirting. She wanted to see more of me so she asked me for my facebook and my whatsapp so our conversation moved over there it wasn't too long before our chats started getting a little bit explicit and was talking sexually she sent me pictures and videos of her and asked that i send some back which of course being a naive young guy i did just that these pictures and videos that we sent each other are explicit and obviously private well that is what i thought Anyway, after we finished talking, I wished her good night like I do every night and told her I will talk to her tomorrow and went to bed as normal. The next morning when I woke up, I had a friend message from a, a Facebook friend that I went to school with. Hardly knew him properly and have not seen him in years. He said that he had received a random message from a Thai girl's Facebook account and the message included the video of me that I sent her last night. I quickly opened WhatsApp and that's where my nightmare began. She sent me screenshots of my Facebook friends list, which included my family and my co-workers. She said that if I do not transfer her 50,000 Thai baht, then she is going to send my friends list all the videos and pictures that I had previously sent to her. She said that she sent one video to my friend as a warning that she is not bluffing. My heart dropped. I started sweating and panicking and I am terrified and do not know what to do. I tried to, I tried to plead with her, but nothing was working. She was cold and wanted money. She did not care about how this is affecting me. I have told her that I do not have money, which is a lie, but I will transfer her 10,000 a month until it makes up to 50,000. I said this just so I have time to think what to do. I've already sent 10,000 to keep her off my back a little while, while I think of the plan. All I know is that if I did send her 50,000, she clearly is going to ask for more. It's blackmail that will never stop. I know revenge point in the Western world is illegal, but here I do not think I have a leg to stand on. And it's not exactly something I want to go around asking people and explaining my situation. I'm hoping I could get some advice from your viewers and hopefully this is a warning to other foreign men out here that are going to be using dating apps. I would like to stay anonymous on your podcast. Thanks and keep up the work. Oh, well, guys, what do you think to that? It's horrible. It just shows that the, some of these Thai people, they're not, they're not stupid and they're always thinking of new ways to scam somebody, whether it's in person, in a relationship or now dating apps. Yeah, you really need to be careful who you're talking to. And I, I'm pretty, I'm 99% sure the person that this viewer was talking to is not even a girl. It's probably a guy or a group of people that are doing this, making profiles with fake pictures, pretending to be a girl, getting to know the guy, getting some content that they can use to blackmail them. And yeah, it's just, it's an awful thing to happen and it must be a horrible feeling. But the only thing, the only thing I can think of is, you said that you've already transferred a 10,000 baht. How, how did you transfer that? If it was a bank, then you've got the name, you've got the account number. You should really go to the police or, or the tourist police and explain what's going on. You might, you know, you might feel a bit embarrassed, but it's better than worrying about this. And if you've got the bank details, you could <clears throat> maybe the police couldn't track them down and you know go from there. But yeah, it must be it must be a scary thing to be in. And yeah, if you, if you do keep sending money, they're just going to keep asking for more and more until, you know, you've got nothing left and they, they'll just do whatever they want. If I was you, I would definitely go to the police and take it from there. I, I don't see any other option of what you can do. You can block and delete and forget about it, but if they've already sent the pictures to one person, they might, they might not be bluffing and they might send it to more. 
or you can just own it, like just say to your friends and family, yeah, I did that. I mean, it's hard to find someone nowadays that has not sent a picture or a video to the partner or somebody. And it's, it's a common thing, but yeah, revenge, revenge porn is, can't be the nicest thing in the world. So what would you guys do in this position? Me personally, I would, I would block them all from all contact with them and I would report it to the police with as much information as I can get because, you know, if, if they've been doing it a long time, they've probably already been reported to the police. So it just helps the police build a better case against them, I guess. But yeah, the Thai police, whether, it, whether they do anything or not, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's just, this is another warning about coming to Thailand. You've got to be careful, but th this can happen in any country, I guess. People are, can be evil and they'll do anything they can to get as much money as they can. And you know, you see it, you see it all the time. Uh, revenge, catfishing, blackmailing, romance scams, you name it, it's happened. Unfortunately, I can't give more advice than that. Just report it to the police and take it from there. Don't let it ruin your holiday though. You know, have a good time and then worry about it when you get home and sort something out. But yeah, guys, I would love to know what uh, anyone listening thinks, if you can shed some advice in the comments. And uh, if you have a story you want to share, you can email me with the email on the screen now, or you can leave a comment. I will post it anonymously if you want me to, or if you want me to say your name, I can do. Yep, yeah, thanks for listening to this episode, and we'll see you next time.